AACS staff put on the boxing gloves this week in the Attleboro YMCA's Smallest Winner program. The Smallest Winner is a 10-week exercise program where teams of individuals compete to get in shape. Four AACS staff members are participating in the program and we are documenting our progress along the way. This is week eight of the program and the team took part in an hour-long session of boxing with trainer David Versailles. AACS team trainer Cindy Goodenson Lindsay spoke with us about the boxing session. Uh, my name is Cindy Goodenson. I'm the Senior Health and Wellness Director at the Attleboro YMCA. And today our smallest winner team from AACS go trained um, on a boxing program with my trainer. He put them through some drills, some speed drills, some punching drills, some ducking drills, um, and made them sweat a lot. <laughs> The health benefits with boxing um, has a lot, it, it can, everything, cardiovascular strength, muscle endurance, um, it's just an overall great workout for anybody. Um, Team AACS, they were outstanding today, in fact I think Austin ought to consider a boxing career. Uh, we started off with some exercises to just warm us up, you know we did some cherry picks and some uh, long steps and then we finished the warm-up off with some pushing steps. Uh, then we led into, you know, just working out with Dave, doing the, uh, you know, starting with jabs, and then jabs and punches, and then um, bob weave ducks, you know, the whole thing. And so it was good. You know, Dave taught us a lot about uh, how to protect ourselves, the proper way to step. With me, always try and keep it here. All right. So when I say move, move and pivot. Um, I think I might go back to the speed bag just to increase my coordination. Um, most of the exercises that we did today with Dave um, required a second person and I don't typically work out with a second person. Um, so um, maybe more the speed bag, working with the, uh, the heavy bag to um, you know, just that, get that coordination and flexibility uh, worked out. I, I thought Dave was great because he brought a lot of real world experience to the workout. Dave's a, a professional MMA and kickboxer. Uh, so, you know, when he's, whatever he said, you know, was, was legit information. It was fun. It's my first time boxing. So, uh, it was a new experience and I look forward to next week. Cindy recommended that I pick up boxing. Um, apparently, I have a pretty strong fist. Uh, can hit pretty hard, so I, I consider it. Um, it was actually, it was a really fun day today. Um, something new, so it was nice. It was definitely a tough one. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I liked the whole boxing part of it. Uh, I'm not that coordinated, but I still had a lot of fun. It was a good workout. Dave really, really worked us out hard, but it was completely worth it. I had to bow out of one, but that I don't mind. As long as I complete just about everything, I'm happy with what I've done. Uh, I guess he has a fight coming up in about a month or so, or a couple of months, whatever it may be, so he's in training for that. Um, it just, he, it, he's cut, he's just an all-around good athlete. Uh, you could just tell by when he's kind of punching back at you, with the, uh, when you're punching into his hands, he has he, just that little bit of force, you could tell. He's, he's definitely muscular and knows the right technique and how to do it properly. We don't. <laughs> I've never done boxing before, but you know, I I did okay. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not ready to go boxing when I, but uh, you know, we, we all did okay. We had a good time. Um, I was pretty amazed by Austin's strength. There was some loud, very loud noises when he was hitting the pads that Dave was holding up. Um, so so yeah, it was a blast. We did a lot of a lot of really fun drills, and, and when we actually were. We're going over combos and, and hooks and jabs with Dave and ducking and, and how to pivot right, all that kind of stuff. It was actually really informative. Um, the stuff that was difficult were more the coordination of how to box, how to pivot, how to have your foot placement, how to turn, how to turn your hips when you throw your, your crosses and how to, how to step in for the jabs. It's just, it's hard to remember to do it every time when, you're, when it's your first time doing it. But, you know, Dave, Dave did a good job at reminding us uh, what to do and correct us when we were doing things wrong. It's really cool to be able to, to get trained by someone who is actually a professional mixed martial artist. Um, to be able to get his skills you know, taught to us and his expertise is great. 
uh, the guys have lost, I think, around a total of almost 40 pounds total. Um, and most of that is with um, Austin and Jim. Um, but they're doing a phenomenal job. Uh, they, I can see the strength gains. I can see the self-confidence. Um, I think Pete's going to be ready for his ski season. I think everybody will be happy. I lost about 15 pounds um, around there. Um, and I'm just going to keep going. I'm already past my goal, so I'm just going to keep going and see how fit and healthy I can become. I'm doing okay. I, I suffered a hamstring uh, injury a couple of days ago, so um, I little, had to pull back a little bit on my exercises, but uh, I'm down about 22 pounds, a um, little bit off my, uh, my goal uh, for the November 20th deadline, but um, all in all, I'm feeling good. I still can't do push-ups, you know, but I guess that comes with time. Staying about the same weight, I'm up and down a couple of pounds. Um, but I, I have heard a certain Tom Rafferty on uh, WARL Soma 1320 has uh, called me out a few times on the, uh, on the air. Well, I'm opening up uh, an invitation to him to come join us next Thursday at noon at the gym uh, to see how he can do and what he's able to do with, with our workouts. Tom, it's up to you. I want you to come out and uh, see what you can do as well. Uh, to reiterate what my friend Peter Bray was saying, uh, you know, people can sit, sit behind you know, radio booths and, and, and talk smack and say someone's out of shape and breathing heavy, but until you get here, you have no idea what it's like. So, uh, you know, Tom Rafferty, you want to call out Pete, you should, you should bring it. He's, he's right. You should, you should come on down, see if you can hang for you know, one of our hour sessions. See if you can hang for 15 minutes, you know, and, and see how you do without, without breathing like Pete.